recently uh, took out my disk drive because it was broken and there it is it's kind of in pieces but I uh, recently got the uh, new software update on the uh, Xbox and it failed to update the software properly and I'll show you that in a second hold on it uh, goes up to applying update and when it tries to apply the update it fails and goes to an E100 error which if you look that up on the Xbox website uh, you pretty much have they pretty much tell you you gotta send it in for a pair but I was wondering that if it would uh, apply the update if I plug the disk drive back in because if you see that right there that's the daughter board and I'm kind of wondering if the daughter board being unplugged has something to do with the uh, update failure so as you can see I had to unclip the um, thing the uh, Bluetooth cable from the top of the uh, console if you don't know what the inside of an Xbox looks like I'd uh, or before I took it apart like this uh, you should probably look it up and uh, there's the Bluetooth connector I need the Bluetooth connector connected to uh, actually oh, there it is see I need the Bluetooth connector connected to use a controller obviously so to try restarting it see there it is a system error E100 um, so we're gonna go ahead and get my controller plug the disk drive back in which contains the daughter board and we're gonna go ahead and see if it uh, it updates it might not probably won't I probably it might have something to do with the daughter board I'm not sure we'll we'll go ahead and see if that's the case so you could see here we have the uh, disk drive a uh, plugged back in I'm, that ribbon cable is disconnected I'm not really sure if that needs to be connected uh, I don't think it does because uh, that connects the daughter board right there I'm not really sure if that has anything to do with it uh, as you can see it's if you don't know what this looks like sorry for the bad lighting it's actually in pieces right now I can't I accidentally uh, broke a piece off and it fell apart so we're gonna turn the Xbox on and see if it uh oh forgot to plug it in hold on plug it back in definitely do not want power on your devices hold on when you are plugging shit in or messing around with it at least I don't I don't know I'm not I'm not an expert on uh, electronics or as you can see there I tried um, turning on it's it's in pieces it's not gonna work anymore uh, applying update it went up to 5%, 6% this time, so that, that actually might have been the fix. <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll be completely amazed if this fixes it. I, I will. But then again, not really, because I, I think that might have been the problem, because w what else could it be? I have no idea. So we're going to find out if this updates. I... Uh, so I think we might have actually fixed it. We're going to go ahead and press the A button and see what happens. Uh, I actually uh, tried resetting factory defaults, so we're probably going to have to update to the new update and see if that works. Hopefully it will. Uh, if not, I'm going to probably keep the uh, update we have now until they figure out the software and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and... I have all my save games and my games on a, uh, on a, uh, a separate hard drive. Uh, I might actually get an Xbox One S uh, to replace this, but the reason I wanted to go ahead and... Uh, fix this and get the software working it was to uh, bring downstairs uh, for my parents so they could watch Netflix on it because right now they're using my 360 so the Xbox one would be a lot easier because the the uh, interface is a lot more fluid than the and faster than the uh, 360 so uh, this is why why I am uh, using or um, not using but uh, hold on a second I gotta plug my wired in I don't feel like Alright, so here is the final product, 
and as you can see it updated me to the new software that actually bricked my console in the first place. Uh, if you don't actually have this uh, updated dashboard yet, that's because uh, it was for Xbox Insiders, I believe. Unless everybody got it. I, I'm pretty sure I got it because I was an insider. And this was the one that bricked my Xbox. Uh, so that's cool. I didn't have to update it again. Um, so now what I'm going to have to do is put my Xbox back together. But I'm going to have to keep that connected. The disc tray connected with the daughter board right there for future updates. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, cause it's kind of in pieces. I think I'll just slip it back into its little case thing. Uh, I'll figure it out really. I'm gonna have to put all this back together. So yeah, if you get the E100 error, it's either something wrong with your daughter. If you don't know how to solder or reflow, then I recommend just sending it back into Xbox. Uh, if you have a warranty for your Xbox, do not open it. Mine was out of date, so I decided to take it apart in the first place and take that out and try and fix that. But I couldn't, so I'm probably just going to use this for home entertainment purposes now that i fixed the software. And I'm probably going to buy an Xbox One S. Um, if it's not something wrong with the motherboard or the daughter board, just tech, check your uh, connections for the two. Make sure they're properly connected. Make sure everything else is properly connected and try updating the software. Uh, maybe that will help fix the E100 or 101 error. Uh, I'm going to have to put this back together. And uh, I'll see you then. <laughs> Alright, there it is. There's the finished product. Right there. It was easy straight from there. It's not that hard to put back together. It's harder to take it apart. Everything's back in. The uh, Bluetooth works. I'm kind of kind of jammed the screws in certain places so I'd, I might have like might have grinded out some uh might have probably not gonna play too many games on this xbox anymore like i said i'll eventually buy an xbox one and an s and replace this xbox one original and i'll probably take that downstairs use it for a home entertainment system um but that's the end of the video right there uh maybe this will give you an insight on what's wrong if you have the e100 or 101 error uh, thank you, uh, hope you are, uh, hope this helped, so, uh, you've been touched, don't forget to scream, <laughs> man, I haven't said that in a while.